Great news, guys. Bitcoin was actually able to hold that 35,000 mark over the weekend, and it did not sell off like it did the previous four weeks in a row. So today, guys, we're going to go over this new pattern that we're currently watching in Bitcoin, and we're going to tell you why it's possibly a really, really good sign for Bitcoin this week. Plus, then we're going to go over Ethereum and we're going to show you guys how Ethereum has been holding up very, very strongly compared to Bitcoin. The only thing holding Ethereum back right now is Bitcoin. And then, of course, guys, like we do every single Monday, we're going to go over different trade setups that we're going to be taking ourselves this week to potentially make you guys some profits. Let's dive right in, guys. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. The goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the resources and knowledge to help you get to that next level. So make sure to subscribe, like and share this channel. Also hit that notification bell as we continue to spread this knowledge and mass cryptocurrency adoption. Alrighty guys, so today we're doing the trade recap from the trades that we gave you guys over the weekend on Friday. Then we're going to do an analysis on both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Then after that, we're going to give you guys the trade setups that we're going to be watching and taking this week to make you guys and make ourselves and everyone else some profits. So first things first, let's go over the trade recaps from the trades we gave you guys on Friday. So the first trade we gave you guys on Friday was uh, a Bitcoin 35K support entry. If you guys took any of these trades from the 35K support entry um, and you wrote it up, congratulations, because this wrote up all the way to $37,500, guys. That would have been, if you were using 10X leverage, that would have been a plus 71% profit, guys. So congrats if you took that trade. Um, the, the second uh, Bitcoin trade that we gave you guys was a 36.5, so $36,500 uh, breakout entry. So a, you, you would uh, enter the trade above 36.5. Um, if you were able to enter that as well, as you guys can see right here, that would have been the entry right around there. Um, and that rolled up to the same price, 37.5. That would have been a 27% uh, profit if you use 10x leverage um, and then the that was the two trades that we took for Bitcoin the one trade that we took for Ethereum because we gave you guys two trades for Ethereum but one of them didn't hit the second one did um, so the one that didn't hit was it was was the 1100 entry but the one that did hit was a 1200 entry so if you guys entered that 1200 um entry right there uh it rolled up till about uh 1300 almost right they rolled up to i think it's over here rolled up to uh 1294 uh so that would have been a 39 percent profit if you guys used 5x leverage on the ethereum trade all right so let's go ahead and jump into these analysis the first thing we're going to look at of course is bitcoin so um so we're watching bitcoin over the weekend not much happened it just kind of consolidated in the same exact range right so it's been trading uh between that thirty-eight thousand range the top of the 37 and 35k that's the range it's been trading on right you guys can see every time it's been down here the dip has been bought every time it's been up here it has been sold as you guys can see there so it's currently trading in this range, um, which is a good thing. So as long, if we're consolidating like this, this is actually very good. The more that we consolidate, the bigger the next move will be. So um, if the volatility slows down and as you can see, something that could happen right here, um, that that could mean a big move coming up for Bitcoin very soon that could probably shoot us up to that 50K range that we're all waiting for, right? So um, this is what we're currently watching right here, right? 
So what we're watching here is this symmetrical triangle, right? So that's, this is the top of the symmetrical triangle. This is basically the bottom, um, you know, it depends. You could also have it down here and it kind of connects, but um, just for the purpose of this one, we're just putting it at these two points, right? Now, now you're probably asking, what is a symmetrical triangle, right? So symmetrical triangles occur when the price is consolidating in a way that generates two converging trend lines with similar slopes. So what can you expect from a symmetrical triangle as far as the price movement? So usually the breakout or breakdown targets for a symmetrical triangle is equal to the distance between the initial high and low applied to the breakout or breakdown point. So now that you know what a symmetrical triangle is, let's go ahead and put it to use in this exact scenario. So I'm going to draw a line from the peak, the, its highest peak to the bottom of this triangle. So that's more or less where it's at. Now let's go ahead and move this to the potential breakout area. So if I now grab this and move this to where it could potentially break out, let's say it bro breaks out here. Look at this guys, the potential breakout movement. If we were to continue consolidating right here and ended up breaking up at breaking out at this point, then we're talking about what is this 49,000 49 K. So that's close enough to 50 to call it 50 guys. This would, this would lead us to that $50,000 mark that we have been talking about guys, 50 K. So if we continue bouncing within this range and if you start to see it within these within this week really tightening up just like this we could be in for a breakout that will lead us right to fifty thousand dollars guys now of course this could also break to the downside so we always have to look at both scenarios you can't only just look at one scenario now the reason that we're looking at the bullish scenario first is because we're we're following the trend right the likelihood of the breakouts are usually with the trend so the bearish case scenario here would be a breakdown to the downside right and that would lead us to around right here which is that twenty six thousand dollar mark as you guys can see lots of support here um so and and this is also where the 78.6 percent fibonacci retracement level is so um, if we were to see a breakdown, that's kind of where I'd ex be expecting it to go um, around this level right here. The bottom of it being around 26K, um, possibly uh, bouncing at the 78.6 Fibonacci level. And then remember, we still have this 61.8% Fibonacci level, which is also 30K. That could hold us up, which held us up here and here. So those are the two different case scenarios for Bitcoin. Um, Obviously, the higher probability and higher likelihood is to the upside, but we have to be realistic and look at both sides of the coins. As always, you want to be prepared no matter what happens, right? All right. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum. As you guys can see, a very similar pattern, except it's been holding up a whole lot stronger than Bitcoin. As you can see here, guys, um, Ethereum had a very, very bullish pattern here. Uh, which did break out to that upside, but then got taken down uh, when we had that sell off last weekend, right? Um, after that, though, it's been pretty bullish. As you guys can see, it's just been kind of grinding up. And right now, this is currently a bull flag that we're watching here, right? It's a terrible bull flag, but this is a bull flag that we're currently watching. Um, and you see this resistance right up here. So this is that descending resistance. This is the same symmetrical triangle that we're watching here. So we're currently at the top of it. You see on Bitcoin, we're currently at the bottom of the symmetrical triangle while on Ethereum, we're at the top of it right now. Remember, if we use the same rules for symmetrical triangle breakouts, we're going to go from the top of its peak to the bottom right the bottom is more or less around that 900 range so we're gonna put it right there and then we're gonna grab that let me uh zoom out a little bit here we're gonna grab this and put it right here where this breakout would occur and obviously this breakout could occur from anywhere on the triangle i'm just putting it at the end in the scenario where uh you know we kind of went back down and kind of you know did this right here 
and then boom that would be a a basically by the book pattern chart pattern right remember the all-time high for ethereum is around that 1400 mark so this would not only crush the yearly high that we've had right but then it would crush the all-time high and move up to sixteen hundred dollars and this will put it here um this pattern puts it here by the end of this week so yeah that's a pretty crazy pattern but according to the rules if you follow the rules of a symmetrical uh triangle that's the possibility of what could happen that's the implied move right so we're gonna see what happens here because this could also be interesting the breakout could actually happen towards here if we kind of continue within this little range right here and then boom so if the breakout were to occur there then that move could potentially take us up to around sixteen hundred and fifty dollars as you guys can see on the top of this right here so now like always we want to we want to look at both uh scenarios of this move so let's see what what it would happen if we broke to the downside right so if we broke to the downside now we're looking at basically a 100 percent retracement from its breakout over here which was around that 700 range um that would be literally be a breakdown from here would mean a 100 retracement as you guys can see guys i hope you're enjoying this video so far i hope you have got a lot of value out of both analysis for the bitcoin and the ethereum analysis now we're going to go over the different trade setups that we're watching this week if you're enjoying this video so far don't forget to subscribe guys and hit that notification bell turn it on because like we said we're about to give you guys some trade setups and if you guys will end up not having a notification bell on and watching this video a day later you might have missed a trade setup already and miss out on these profits all right so the first thing that we're gonna look at is bitcoin here so 35.5 is a possible entry um that you guys could use um so that's one entry that i would say if you have a bigger risk tolerance um then you can take that entry at 35.5 um and have a stop basically your stop is gonna want to be kind of around this level so that's around 34 uh, it's gonna be under 3500 right um, so you want to stop under 3,500, but you want to make sure that you're under these candles here. So you're looking at probably like 37,800 uh, for your stop. But if you don't want to take that such a, have such a wide stop, then you want to look for an entry at 3,500, right? And we want to see if if uh, the price respects this ascending support line here, right? So that's kind of what we're watching. I would love to, to have it right here where both of them meet, right? That would be the sweet spot. That would be right around that 35K. So that would be the perfect spot. Next would be a breakout entry. So now the breakout entry, it's going to be a little tricky and it depends how safe you want it to be, right? So the higher risk breakout entry, but higher risk, higher reward, right, is 36K. So 36K is that first breakout entry, which is around right here. But this is the thing, as you guys can see here, there's so much uh, consolidation here, right? So what could, what's, what could happen here is if you set your stop losses too tight, you're just going to get you might just get stopped out. Right. So, of course, the idea would always be, um, you know, to buy in on the bounce back up and hope that it doesn't drop like this back down. Right. But it's a possibility. So uh, it's a riskier one. Now, if you want to try to look for something a little bit safer now, you, then you can play above this candle right here, which is is going to be just before 37 K. So the breakout entry you would use this candle plus the whole number 37 K to as a breakout entry. And that could lead back up to the top of this range, which is the top of that 37.5 to 0.7 range. Right. And then the safest one would probably be a break above around that 38 K because it's above all of these and it would be a weekly high. Basically. Now the issue with that is if, if the price respects is descending, resistance then that 38k breakout you would probably need to trail it pretty aggressively just in case we get rejected here uh you, you kind of want to stop out in profits you you want to make sure that you're taking profits there and then there might be you know all of this going on here 
and then the potential breakout will be there. So if, if you're looking to play the breakout above this triangle, right, then you're looking for something above 90, uh, 39,000. So 39,000 would be that point where we're above all of these candles and we're above this, the triangle, right? So that would be this level right here is where you would be looking to enter a breakout. Now you have to keep in mind, there is resistance at 40K. The way you could play this is to take profits as close to 40K as possible in case that happens again, and then to have a brand new breakout entry right above 40,000. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at Ethereum. As you guys can see, currently trading at 12.19. So um, how are we playing this? So we're looking for entries as close to this support and this Fibonacci level here as possible. And that's also a big whole number, 1200, right? So you'd be looking to enter on a, on a test of 12 and then a bounce back above it. And then you wanna be trailing it pretty aggressively because remember we have this uh descending resistance right here um that's going to get closer and closer so the closer it is to this part right here then avoid that you don't want to enter that you want to enter above the break so to enter above the break then you're probably looking at an entry above 1250 i would say um somewhere above 1250 and if you want to play it as safe as possible with the breakouts play above this candle which is right at thirteen hundred dollars probably and that would be a confirmed breakout from this triangle remember that we have this resistance right here um so make sure to, that you're trailing it as soon as you're in profits you want to be trailing this aggressively because if we get rejected there you want to be able to uh, trail out in profit and then what you could do is have a breakout entry above this price as well so that would be above 1350 and then of course a breakout entry above the previous all-time highs now, if we uh, bounce down here, we, if we get taken down here, um, we're looking at support entries down at these levels, right? So that's around that 1100 range. And that's what I'd be looking at for a support entry. Of course, we're looking for it to test and then jump back up. And then this is where you buy. I appreciate all you guys, man. You guys have been killing it with the views and the likes and everything, man. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and uh, hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel because over 75% of people watching these videos right now are not subscribed. Punch that subscribe for me, guys. I appreciate it. Enjoy your Monday, guys. I will see you guys mañana for the next video. As always, peace and love.